Man walking on the highway accidentally found a sharp wire rope across the middle of the road. At that moment he saw the oncoming was a motorcycle fleet that was accelerating frantically. If he rushed past them, he would be killed. The man shouted at them to try to stop the advance, but the noise was too loud to hear. In desperation, Jim ran to the side, trying to use brute force to pull out the fixed iron cone, but the cone was too deep. The motorcycle team was already in front of us. At the very last moment, Jim finally pulled out the iron cone. The wire rope fell off hard. Seeing that everyone was safe and sound, the man then stood up, but the motorcycle team suddenly stopped. At that moment, the leader of the man on the phone seems to have received some instructions. LED the people back again the same way. Sure enough, they were oblivious to the danger just now. Suddenly a man in black slowly walked to the side of the road, then actually set up another wire rope again. Seeing this scene, Jim instantly panicked, desperately shouted to try to stop the man in black and quickly run towards him, only to see the man in black finished and quickly left the scene. But the motorcycle team is getting closer and closer, despite Jim's shouting at them. But the young men who were enjoying themselves didn't care. Then the next second, there was a violent scream. Jim looked back to the ground in horror. In just a few seconds, the lively road became a quiet place. Suddenly, the phone rang. The man slowly took his phone out of his bag. The caller told Jim, Congratulations on the completion of the mission. You are now a millionaire. What the hell is going on here? Just a few seconds, dozens of vivid lives instantly turned into scattered limbs and broken arms. The cause was actually a few days ago. A man received a mysterious phone call. A strange voice told him if he killed a fly, he would be rewarded with $1,000. The man was puzzled. He starts to look around, but eventually swats the fly to death. Soon, a text message beeps. The screen says $1,000 is in the bank. Jim finds this very puzzling, so he got out of his car to check. He found no one around. That's when the phone rang again. It was the same mysterious stranger. They told him if he is the fly he just swatted. He would be rewarded with $3,622. After that, the caller hung up the phone. When he got home, Jim checked his computer. He found that the $1,000 in his account was real. Looking at his wife, who was asleep and pregnant, Jim silently took out the fly wrapped in his pocket. After thinking about it for a moment, he put it into his mouth and chewed it slowly, swallowed it with great pleasure. Then he immediately checked his account. He found that the 3620 to prize money had indeed been credited. Suddenly, the phone call came again. The mystery man said that two tasks had been completed. If you continue to complete the next 11 challenges, he would get the full $18 million, but only if you don't tell anyone about the game, and you can't quit the challenge in the middle. Otherwise all bonuses in the account will be wiped out. The man thinks of his leader firing him from his high horse and his wife, who would soon give birth. Jim accepted the challenge without hesitation. Soon the next day came the third challenge. The task was to make a strange child cry. To make a strange child cry, Jim looked around the park. He found that all the children were with their parents. There was no chance to do it. But just then, a girl came alone to go to the bathroom for money. Jim had no choice. He blocked the bathroom door. He told the girl that your mother was going to sell you. She was discussing the matter. The girl looked back at her mother. She found her mother talking with a man. The girl immediately cried and ran away. The next second. Jim's account was credited with 5,000 in an instant. But the next challenge made Jim regret it. The man pushed open a broken steel door. Suddenly, I don't know what I saw. Face instantly written with horror. It was a corpse in the bath. Jim was so scared that he immediately dialed the phone. He told the man that he was dead. But the mystery man said the prize for the mission was $100 zero. Jim wanted to give up the challenge. But he was tempted by the money. He pushed the corpse out into the street. He ended up in a cafe in order not to be noticed and kept his hat low. Then he ordered supplies to make Anos and he had until 4 o'clock to finish the job. The time was about to end. Suddenly some police officers came in and it was obvious that Jim came in first. But the waiter gave the coffee to the police. With only a few seconds left, the man had an idea. He grabbed the police officer's coffee and put it in front of the corpse. At the last second, he succeeded in completing his task behind the police officer. Instantly angry, he wanted to teach Jim a lesson on the spot. The man had a quick thought, said that police officers are not allowed to drink during work. The weak-minded man had to stop. Then the phone call came again. The caller praised Jim's bravery and wit. He was spared three hurdles on the spot, but the body in the cafe was also found by the police. The mystery man said he had to complete all the next challenges. They could help Jim eliminate his criminal liability. The man had no choice but to continue. But this level. Jim had to cut off the arm. To personally cut off his former boss arm with a chainsaw. Jim didn't hesitate to complete the challenge. The prize money came instantly. It was the day of Jim and his wife's wedding rehearsal. The task was to ruin his own rehearsal site. Seeing that all the challenges were about to be completed, Jim grabbed something on the spot destroy the rehearsal site. 
finally ran out the door and stuck a chair in it. And then the phone rang again. The caller actually asked him to go up and open the door and confess all his crimes to the police. Jim confessed truthfully to the police officer, but he didn't say a word about the game. Then, while the officer was out, he secretly removed a section of the chair leg. When the officer returned, he immediately threatened everyone. Eventually, Jim broke the window and escaped from the police station. However, the officer could have shot him, but he didn't do it. Back at home, Jim suddenly realized his retarded brother was also a participant in the game. The man in black was him. Then Jim asked his brother what the last level was. The man said to kill a family member with his own hands. Suddenly, the father behind him spoke up. The old man said he was also a participant when he was young and completed all the tasks, and their mother did not die in a car accident. After saying that, the old man blamed himself and killed himself. At this point, the brother did not want to give up. He tried to kill his brother Jim while he still had the chance. Jim noticed in time, directly shot the brother to kill. In the end, Jim became the winner. Then the police officers also came here, destroyed all the evidence of Jim's crime, and that's the end of the film. Thank you.